Selena and today's gonna be a new tutorial showing you guys how to do this cool rotation effect transition. Um, I've seen this used in Gibson Hazard's videos and I just wanted to show you guys how he did it because a lot of you guys ask me about this kind of stuff but it's super simple and easy so let's get started in Premiere Pro. Okay so the thing is you need to do this all while filming so you want to start rotating your camera while you're filming. So these are some of my example shots of me rotating my camera while filming. Okay, so first off, let's start off with your first clip. Now, you don't have to do this, but if you want, you can add warp stabilizer so you can stabilize the footage. So first, since I shot this in 60 frames per second, I'm going to press Command R for speed and change the speed to 50%. And then what I'm going to do is just nest the clip and you can right click and press nest. Once you nest it, you can add warp stabilizer. And so we'll just wait for warp stabilizer to load. And once it's stabilized, you have a smooth looking clip. Okay, so now what we can do is nest it one more time so that we can speed it back up again. So, I so I'm gonna press command R for speed and we could just make it really, really fast. So I'm gonna go at around 400, but you can play with the speed and see how much you like it. Okay, so now that you've done that, you can move on to your other clips so I have this next clip where I'm rotating in the end so I'm just gonna reverse the speed so the rotation starts in the beginning and I'm gonna change the speed to 300 and bring that after my first clip and then I'm just gonna drag the second clip so that it's starting a l just a little after the first clip so that it's kind of finishing the rotation and I'm actually gonna change the speed to 150 because it's going a little bit too fast and make the cuts to what you think looks good so now I'm just going to press W so that I can cut it. So now I'm just going to press W so that I can cut everything to the right side of this clip. So you're just going to want to really just shorten the clip so that the clip lasts for a little bit of the rotation. So what you want to do is just keep moving on to each clip and make it so that you cut out the beginning of the clip where the rotation is already starting. And then you cut out the end of the clip. So you kind of want like a full rotation going with all of your clips that you have. So yeah, I'm just going to bring my next clip in and then we'll speed it up and just continue this process. And then once you move on to the last clip, you can actually add warp stabilizer on this. It might l actually look a little bit better. Okay, so once you get to your last clip, I have four clips of the rotation and then I have my last clip the little bit of the end of the rotation in the beginning. So I'm going to right click on this clip and then press show clip keyframes and then time remapping and then speed so that we can enable speed ramping. And then I'm going to go to where the it's starting to be back to the normal clip and I'm going to press the keyframe button for the speed and then drag the line up so that we can speed it up in the beginning of the clip and then just adjust it so that the speed ramping looks kind of smooth and drag the bar at the top so that it makes that diagonal line so it'll be a smooth speed ramp and so yeah that's basically the whole effect it's all about having like the right clips and then speeding it and rotating it and shortening it so that it just like all looks really smooth and also you might want to add warp stabilizer when you think it's needed. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave tutorial requests in the description. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.